Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a vast corn demon army. Uh, it's been a brilliant commission to work on. It's been painted by Ben One, the artist here at Siege. There are so many awesome models in this force. Do stick around through this video as we're going to cover all of them in depth. We're back in a second to have a look at this absolutely amazing commission in more detail. See you guys back in a second. Hey guys, so first up we're going to have a look at the characters and massive demons from this army. Uh, and this army does not disappoint. There are some absolutely incredible Forge World models in here and uh, also there are some GW ones as well. So um, to start off with on this lineup, we've got Skarak the Bloodborne, the huge guy on the left. Uh, we also have Mazarel the Butcher on the right, who's the big guy with the axe. In the centre, we have a uh, Forge World Demon Prince or Corn Demon Prince with a ginormous axe. Um, then we've also got a Skull Taker there on the front right here. We've also got uh, a Skull Master just on this juggernaut here. And then finally, we have the Forge World Herald of Corn, which comes with the Demon Prince at the back there. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at these great models. Straight away, we'll have a look at the um, Herald of Corn. Really cool model. He's carrying a uh, dilapidated human there with his uh, flesh all sort of ripped open and rib cage visible, as you can see there. The uh, Herald has got his hand nicely uh, grabbing his guts, which is uh, very friendly, as you can see there. <laughs> um, obviously, those are skulls on his base as well. All the sort of uh, bronze areas of detail are fully highlighted, fully picked out. All the little intricate sort of uh, dots and sort of areas of detail work on his uh, skin and back and, and sort of thighs and things are all picked out there as well. Really, really cool sort of blended sword as well. There which is really nice so that's just the uh, herald of corn as you can see there we'll have a look at the uh, skull uh, taker first of all so this is the dude here with the uh, flaming skull in his hand uh, and then he's got a really nice blended and highlighted blade there as you can see purple tongue just to contrast really nicely uh, moving around you've got this cape full of skulls as you can see here loads and loads of skulls all on that cape there uh, as you can see uh, all the areas of detail work fully picked out fully highlighted all the brass work the inside of the cape nicely highlighted and contrasted there as you can see on that black um, and then you've got the uh, flaming skull in the hand all fully sort of picked out and lit to make it look like it's on fire so that's just him uh, we'll have a look at the skull master on the herald uh, here as you can see on the uh, juggernaut a uh, client went for a really really cool sort of metallic red blood color which is uh, obviously it will be seen on later on in the force on other areas of armor as well as you can see there um, but again same attention to detail and highlighting and contrast fully on all this model all the areas of brass are all sort of highlighted and picked out you've got more skulls on the base there and blood as you can see and uh, really really cool dynamic charging pose it looks like he's about to clean someone in half with his sword so that's just the uh, skull master there um we'll look at next with the uh, demon prince here as you can see really really cool model uh, always like this forge world demon prince of corn uh, all the areas of detail again fully highlighted fully picked out teeth tongue all the eyes there's picked out as well as you can see all the bone work uh, moving around the back here with the leather areas sort of with a nice bit of detail work on them as well um, really really uh, cool highlighting on the skin as well nice areas of purple as well some of the veins and things picked out with purples on the back as you can see there just get that to focus for you um, every individual skull fully highlighted as well there and uh, blood has been used sparingly I say sparingly but there's quite a lot of it um, all over different areas of these models as well uh, you couldn't have a corn army without a lot of blood uh, so that's just the demon prince of corn then to finish up with the two big boys we're gonna have a look at Skarak first of all who's this guy here on the left um, he's so big I'm probably not gonna get him all on camera in one go so I'll move it around but as you can see all the areas of detail is absolutely dripping not only in blood but in detail uh, really cool dynamic charging pose there he looks like he's just hit someone with one of the arm blade things and he's about to lean forward with this one and cleave someone with this one but uh, just get that to focus for you guys so you can see all the areas of detail weathering on that nice sort of bronzy bra brazen sort of um, weapon there as you can see on his arm and then every individual skull all fully picked out fully highlighted he's got some really really glowing sort of pinky red eyes as well to match his sort of very angry skin tone um, let's just get that to focus there so you can see. And then the armor, again, much like on that juggernaut on that um, Skullmaster in this really, really cool metallic red uh, kind of look as well, which is nice. It's weathered as well, so it's got a nice bit of weathering. And then moving around the back, we've got all the nice 
contrasting hues of muscle and skin that have been done on him as well as you can see there again really really cool he's got loincloth through the legs that's covered in blood as well um so that's just scarak really 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 cool model uh all the teeth there as well all picked out there which is nice on the leather work as well on areas of the armor and under armor all picked out as well so that's scarak um and then to finish up probably my favorite one of the demons out of the force is probably going to be uh, Mazarel because I just like the shield and the axe as well. I think they're both really, really cool aspects of detail. Uh, we'll start with the start with the axe first of all. I'll let you see the shield last because it's probably one of my favourite parts. Again, loads of blood there as you can see on the axe. It's actually got an eye on the axe as well. All the teeth all fully picked out. All the areas of metalwork and brass all picked out and highlighted. You've got this really cool face on this arm with glowing pink eyes as well. Really nice contrast applied to that face there. Uh, all the individual little bits of detail hanging around from his belt there, all picked out and highlighted as you can see uh, really really cool base as well that elevates him and then we've got this amazing shield with this incredible sort of detailed face looks very very much in pain <laughs> um, lots of blood as you can see there as well on the edge of the shield where he's hit people with it uh, and then moving around to his face here as you can see all the areas of detail the bone work all picked out highlighted teeth and everything at all uh, and the black armor on top of his carapace is actually weathered with some scratches and sort of pitting as well just to give that a bit of interest and detail on those black armored areas uh, so that's just Maserat. I do hope you like him he's really cool so that's all the characters from this force up next we have a horde of blood letters and there are 60 of them they're coming up next so do stick around for that see you guys in a sec So, after looking at all those awesome HQs and massive demons, the next thing we're going to look at is the 60 bloodletters that are in this force. Uh, and there's loads of them, as you can see. Um, there are six squads of 10 each with a banner and also uh, an instrument per squad. Uh, so we'll pull forward a few of these for you to have a look at. Now, I'm not going to pull forward every single one because obviously there are 60 of them, uh, but let's just get this to focus so you can have a look at the blood letters in a bit more detail. Uh, blood letter kit, lots and lots of detail on it. So all the little nubs and things on these back uh, legs and arms all fully picked out there. Nice uh, purple tongue, teeth, eyes, all fully highlighted there, as you can see. These very aggressive and menacing swords as well, all fully highlighted all the way through from a dark red through to a black as well which is really nice on those uh, and the, our clients requested that the arms and the legs and uh, sort of real sort of extensions of areas of the, of the body are painted in a nice dark black and then obviously it fades nicely into the normal traditional red that you'd expect on a blood letter um, so that's just uh, one of the standard blood letters here and pull forward one of the uh, instruments as well so you can have a look at these again same contention to detail across the force in all the areas of highlighting and detail work skulls on every single base with blood as well as would be expected on the, on a corn demon force um, and you can see there there's the instrument all sort of fully highlighted a nice chrome color uh, sorry bronze color not chrome uh, bronze color there as you can see as well so that's just um, one of the musicians in the force um, now this each single squad has got a banner in it as well uh, and there are four custom free-handed banners done by Jonas here at the studio as well our client requested that um, four out of the six have a really really cool unique banner so I, what I will do is I'll pull forward each of these banners for you guys to have a look at them in a bit more detail as you can see here this is all fully fully free-handed uh, no transfers or anything at, at all whatsoever it's all done by hand uh, lots of hours spent getting this really really cool corn symbol with some screaming faces all the way around it so that's just one of the custom freehand banners obviously the nice corn symbol there at the top just drizzled in blood as well as it would be expected uh, so that's just him uh, we'll pull forward the other one in this in the, another unit here as you can see you've got like a, a skull there with a nice corn symbol on the forehead and blood all dripping down into a nice sort of like lake or, or puddle of blood at the bottom of the banner as would be expected with a corn uh, banner there as you can see and um, pull forward uh, the one on the back right again this one is actually some artwork I think that uh, the, the, our client requested that we do on one of the banners so as you can see here let's just get this to focus for you guys there you go uh, as you can see it's very very intricate so again lots of hours are spent on these these are not quick things they're done uh, you know a lot of hours and a lot of uh, man, manual sort of labor involved with them they do take a long time to actually execute on, on this lovely pristine surface that we've got there uh, so that's just another one and then the final one of the four custom freehand banners that are in this unit oh, blood has fallen over uh, is this really cool dull axe crossed axe with flames behind it and lots of skulls on the floor as you'd, as you'd expect with another corn banner so that's just uh, the final custom freehand banner that is on this blood letter uh, as you can see there 
So really, really cool banner. Uh, so that's just the four. Um, I'll pull forward a few more of the blood letters so you can have a look at them in a bit more detail. Again, there are 60 of them, so I'm not going to pull forward every single one, as I've said. But as you can see here, fully highlighted, fully detailed, fully picked out uh, across each and every single one of the blood letters. Uh, really, really good. Looks like he's stalking forward there, as you can see. Uh, and again, some skulls and blood on each and individual base on the, of these uh, these blood letters as well. So that's the uh, 60 blood letters of the force, guys. Up next, we've got a lot of... Uh, the models coming up so do continue watching the video to see all the corn goodness see you back in a second hey guys so last up we're going to have a look at all of the blood crushers the skull cannons and also the herald on blood throne um some really really cool models uh and let's dive in and have a look so there are three heralds uh, three musicians and also three banner bearers on the uh, blood crushers as you can see here that that red sort of metallic armored look is very much resembling across this force and continues on all of these juggernauts as you can see here really really cool nice speckled look to them as well uh, so a little bit weathered and uh, and then you've obviously got the herald on each uh, riding that uh, blood crusher as well as you can see there so really really cool color scheme all the detail work fully picked out and highlighted again uh, so that's just uh, one of the heralds and there are two others obviously in each uh, set of three uh, then we have obviously the banner bearers here so again same consistent detail throughout we've got a nice bit of blood there on that banner all the way up the haft and on the top of the head as well really really cool sort of cherry red um, sort of uh, metallic kind of finish on these blood crushes as well but all the metal work fully highlighted there as well so that's just one of the banners and then we'll pull forward one of the musicians just so you can have a look at him uh, again really cool charging pose on this juggernaut they're really nice models to actually work with and uh, again you can see there obviously that that uh, rider is is sort of mumming forward there as you can see it looks like he's about to headbutt someone uh, so that's just one of the musicians and then at the back we have got two skull cannons and also a herald on skull throne or blood throne should i say um so let's just pull forward this uh, skull cannon here so you can see that really really cool model um looks a bit like an eagle here at the front but a bit <laughs> It's got like a moor on it which is a bit different there's a couple of different moors all over it uh, lots of skulls as you would expect from a corn sort of a um, near model uh, you've got the two blood uh, letters there riding that with all the chains as well as you can see there and again all the areas of detail were fully highlighted fully picked out you've got all the sort of nice bits of sinew and skin all here sort of highlighted and picked out all the metal work for highlighted so that's just one of the uh, skull cannons uh, the other one is exactly the same and then we'll have a look at the herald on uh, blood throne I believe it is um, so you can see here again you've got two blood letters at the front moving forward uh, looking very menacing there right in the front I wouldn't want to hold onto a hand on myself um, and then you've got the herald there on the back as well uh, just sort of uh, surfing this lovely vehicle <laughs> um, but lots of blood on it as well all the areas of detail are very much the same as the uh, skull cannons uh, but just obviously lots of detail fully picked out and highlighted on all the skulls nice blended weapons there on all three of them uh, and uh, really cool pose on the herald as well so that's just him uh, so that finishes up uh, the majority of the force guys we're going to come back in a second and have a look at the force again in its absolute awesomeness in one shot so stick around that's coming up next i hope you liked it so far Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Really appreciate it a lot. And I do hope you've loved this vast Cornate Demonic Horde. It's been a uh, great project to work on. And uh, I do hope you liked all the models that are in this video. If you are interested in a commission, be it an army the size of this, a uh, smaller force, a squad or a character, then all you need to do to get the ball rolling with us uh, regarding a commission or a quote is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video, complete a contact form, which is found on the contact tab, fire that off to us, and then we can get the process started, getting you quoted for your commission. Uh, on top of that as well, we have vast amounts of social media. So we have obviously Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So please do go check those out. They're also linked in the description of this video. And uh, as always, please like, please thumbs up and comment this video. It's good to chat to you guys in the comments and then you can keep up to date with everything that we're doing in the studio. Thanks for checking it out again, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.